Hi, this is Coach Tony Morgan, and today's video is on a Worcester Greenstar 28i Junior. So what we got here is I've been called out to this job, and uh, apparently there's been about a couple of engineers been here before to sort this boiler around. But you're going to hear a little story about what's happened, and I'm going to tell you now that what you're going to see, you're going to be shocked, and it's going to be why gas engineers especially new ones need training they need my training which you can click on this link below this video to find out more i've devised a new online training for guys like this people who've worked on this boiler and done a bad job so mr customer just tell us viewers what's happened you know these guys are going out to your boiler yeah so i just i had a leak which just came out of nowhere uh, there was no gradual leak beforehand, the leak just came out of nowhere. I rung a person which I trusted and he taught me how to basically screw the valve so the leak doesn't happen. Was it, where was it underneath the boiler here? But yeah, the leak was that coming from the right hand side underneath the boiler here was, at the back. Did he tell you this one here? Yeah, he just told me to turn all three off. Oh, all three off, yeah. right. Uh, which stopped the leak and yep. then he came a couple of days later, told mm. me to get some lip seals because he, he guessed that he might need some lip seals. I bought some lip seals. He came, said he doesn't need a lip seal. Who? So, the first engineer come out. He told you need lip seals yeah. to sort the leak out. Yeah. Now, for me, if if a guy says to me, as a customer, get you go and get your parts now, come and do it. That's not professional. Right. An engineer who knows what he's doing should he should provide that yeah. as part of the service. Yeah. So that's a red flag straight away. So then he's come. Uh, and I've given him the lip seals and then he said oh no actually it's not your lip seals he said there's some sort of manifold on the right hand side which is quite a big part he said oh that, that seems to have a, a crack in it that's why it's leaking so the next day he made me go out and get a manifold for it which cost 130 quid uh, after that he's come that night to fit the manifold uh, he's changed the manifold and he did. He, sh he showed me like a little stain on the old manifold, saying that it's got, you know, that was the crack. I could yeah. actually see a crack in it, I just saw a yeah. stain. Yeah. So I thought it might be some rusty water or something, I don't know. Uh, he's changed the manifold, put, the, put everything back together, the boiler turned on, uh, it was running fine. Uh, as soon as he left, within five minutes, uh, the hot water stopped coming through. And the flash, there was a flashlight at the bottom there. If you turn yeah. it on, you'll see it with a blue flashlight at the bottom of that dial. Yeah. Uh, which then, after that, the hot water stopped coming through. I rung the guy, he's come back, and then he said, I could hear a noise. Uh, he said, that I could hear a noise in the circuit board. It seems like water's got in, it's probably condensation inside the circuit board. Uh, so then that's it. He's left me uh, to find a new circuit board. Well, he, he said he's going to find one, but I've not heard back from him. Uh, and what's happened is that. Uh, what what's caused the circuit board to have a leak on is him not draining the system before he changed your part and water splashed everywhere all over the circuit board and it screwed the boiler up so, right yeah, that's a short and sweet story of what's just happened yeah so that's a bit of a horror story for this customer and as i said this is why newly uh, gas safe registered engineers need proper training so we're gonna look a bit more into this boiler and let's uncover what's really gone on right just Fired the boiler up just quite quickly and within one minute of running this boiler you could smell gas, you could smell plots combustion so it's dangerous, carbon oxide's coming out of this boiler. So these guys left it in a real dangerous situation for this customer. As I said, I repeat myself, this is why engineers need training and they need to subscribe to my program. So you can smell it now. Yeah, I can smell it. Mm. So I've opened the window because, as I said, this is not good. I'm going to investigate more into this. This is going to be immediately dangerous. It must be shut off. Fuck yeah. You hear the customer swear there in the oh, background? I apologize. Apologies. It's all right. No problem. It's alarm. That's not. That's not a problem. It's it's natural. But this is how bad it is. Okay, I've put this one notes on the boiler, I've turned the gas off to the unit. I'm going to carry out the repairs, what we said, and get the boiler up and running. So I said for now, click on the link below, and guys, you know who you are. So get that training what you need, and you become become a masterful engineer. So that's it from me, Coach Sonny Morgan. 
and I'll see you on the next video.